everybody. How are you all today? I have been busy. I have been going through closets and crawl spaces and I've unpacked boxes that we haven't unpacked in the years we've lived here. And I found a bucket of toys from when my kids were little and we'd go out to eat and we would get prizes with their meals. And we have a lot of them. And now I have to decide what to do with all of these toys. And I, I don't know, maybe I'll take them to the library when we eventually reopen. And when you guys come and do fun activities, maybe if you read a couple books, I'll give you one of my free prizes. I don't know. These things are crazy, but there's a lot of them because my kids always got a prize with their meal. And I thought, man, can you imagine if other things worked that way? Like what if we went out to dinner and I got a free car or Maybe you buy a couch and you get a free TV. Usually they give you a flashlight. But wouldn't it be cool if you got something really big? And then I thought, I know the perfect story to read to you guys. Because this book tells all about getting something really big with a activity you do. And it's called When Dinosaurs Came with Everything. And it was written by Elise Broach and illustrated by David Small. And this is a great book for anybody who loves dinosaurs. Roar! I like dinosaurs. When dinosaurs came with everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Friday is errand day. My mom goes on boring errands and I have to go with her. And this Friday seemed like every other Friday. Until we got to the bakery. A sign above the donuts read, Buy a dozen, get a dinosaur. I couldn't believe my eyes. And neither could my mom. They must mean a toy, she said. But when I took the box of donuts, the lady behind the counter said, Hold on, little guy. Don't forget your dinosaur. And there he was! Mom! I yelled. It was a Triceratops! That's phenomenal! What? cried my mom. She did not look happy. How are we supposed to get that home? The bakery lady smiled. Oh, don't worry. He'll follow you. They always do. Hmm. And he did all the way to the doctor's office, where I had to go for my checkup. My mom shook her head. What are we going to do with him now? She looked him up and down. That took quite a while. We can't bring him inside, she said finally. He'll have to stay in the parking lot. I told him not to talk to strangers. Good little dinosaur. After my checkup, I asked for a sticker like usual. No stickers today, said the nurse. Just dinosaurs. With a shot, you get two. I want a shot, I said. <laughs> the nurse smiled. Not today, buddy. But you can pick up your dinosaur at the front desk. Every kid would want their vaccines then, wouldn't they? Mom, I yelled. And there at the front desk was a stegosaurus. A stegosaurus. What on earth is going on? My mom cried. It's a special day, the nurse explained. Today, dinosaurs come with everything. Yes, I said. No, my mom groaned. No, no, no. We walked down the street and my triceratops and my stegosaurus walked right behind us. Thud, thud, thud. They made friends right away. Across the street, other kids had dinosaurs too. I saw an ankylosaur, a duckbill, and a velociraptor. We all watched or waved at each other. Our mothers glared and kept on walking. That's a lot of dinosaurs. I think we'd better go home right now, my mom said. But what about my haircut? The barber's waiting for me. My mom looked at the dinosaurs. Then she looked at my bangs. The barber always gives you a balloon, doesn't he? A nice balloon? Uh-huh, I said. I didn't want a balloon. I wanted a dinosaur. 
At the barber shop, I gave my Triceratops and my Stegosaurus donuts for a snack. They waited outside and watched through the glass. The barber pumped the chair up high. He cut my hair too short, but I didn't mind. Because then he patted my head and said, Wait right here, sport. He was gone for a long time. My mom tapped her foot. I don't like this, she said. Where exactly do they keep all the balloons? Just then, the barber came back with something flying over his head. It wasn't a balloon. Mom! I yelled. It was a pterosaur! This is too much, my mom protested. Now listen, she said to the barber. I think a balloon will do just fine today. Don't you have any balloons? Sorry, lady. No balloons. You get one of these instead. Oh my goodness. It was like that everywhere we went. At the shoe store, the sign read, buy two pair, get a dinosaur free. My mom decided my shoes would last a while longer. At the theater, we could hear the popcorn man shouting, butter, no butter. You want a dinosaur with that? My mom said we'd go to the movies another day. Aww. At the diner, I want to stop for a hamburger. But then a girl walked out with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Arr. Yeah, I think he's going to eat that hamburger. Okay, that's it, my mom cried. We are definitely not having lunch there. She looked at my Triceratops, my Stegosaurus, and my Pterosaur. What are we supposed to do with all these dinosaurs? We don't have room for them. We can't take care of them. I hugged her leg. Don't worry, Mom. They can live in the backyard. My mom shook her head. Sweetheart, they're not toys. Dinosaurs are a lot of work. But Mom, look, they eat anything. And they sleep outside. I'll do everything. I promise. Please. Please, Mom, please. My mom sighed. <sighs> well, I suppose we can't just leave them here. Thank heavens we didn't stop at the diner. Look, they're eating the garbage out of the garbage truck. We hurried home, and my dinosaurs hurried after us. Thud, thud, thud. Flap, flap, flap. When we were almost there, we saw a little duckbill dinosaur standing alone on the street corner. He looked lost. Mom, that's a baby hadrosaur. He's all by himself. Sweetie, we've already got our hands full. The hadrosaur followed us. It wasn't my fault. Sure it wasn't. When we got home, my mom needed to lie down, so I made lunch for the dinosaurs. Hmm. Then I showed them where to go to the bathroom, and I told them to stay out of the neighbor's yard because of his very mean dog. <laughs> Although I don't know if that very mean dog is going to be a threat to those dinosaurs. And I showed them my slide and my tire swing and all the toys in the garage. They seemed to be having fun, but they really went wild when I took out my Frisbee. The Hadrosaur had the first throw. The Frisbee landed on the roof. I saw my mom watching from the window. Is everything all right out there, she asked. Everything's fine, Mom. We can get it down. And my Pterosaur flew up and plucked the Frisbee out of the gutter. My mom kept watching. She looked at him for a long, long time. Look at that yard. Look at all the things they've played with. That is just amazing. There's even a trombone. Oh my goodness. The next thing I knew, she had him, the pterosaur, cleaning the gutters. Then she came out to the backyard with a pile of wet clothes. These spikes come in handy, don't they, she said. Pretty soon my mom had thought of chores for all of my dinosaurs. But I knew they didn't mind. It just meant that they were part of the family. When we were finished helping my mom, said I could invite some friends over. It was a bring your own dinosaur party. 
And guess what happened next? That's a lot of dinosaurs in the pool. I heard my mom on the phone to the bakery. She asked, do you have any donuts left? And that's when I knew everything would be just fine. The end. That is a great story. Can you imagine if dinosaurs came with everything? What would we do with all these dinosaurs? And for that matter, what am I doing with all these dinosaurs? We have a lot of dinosaurs in this house, guys. Who knew? Well, dinosaurs are a lot of fun, and reading stories to you guys is a lot of fun, and I'm so glad that we get to do this as often as we do. I hope you guys have a great afternoon, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye!